There are two narrations from the Prophet ﷺ. One of them is good and one of them is more good. They are both about ilm al ghaib some of the information of the unseen. That on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment, there would be a person whom is being dragged into hell. He's being dragged to hell. The angels are carrying him away to throw him in the fire. And hellfire itself will pull back from that person. Hellfire itself will pull back from that person. And Allah will ask hell, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you that you pull back? And hellfire will say, my Lord, he is seeking refuge with you from me. He is seeking refuge in you from me. And Allah will say, then release my slave. Release my slave and let him go free. And there will be another person being dragged to hell, about to be thrown into the fire. And this person will say to Allah, my Lord, I never expected this from you. My Lord, I never expected this from you. What a bold statement. And Allah will ask my slave, Abdi, what did you expect from me? You did all of this. You committed the sin. You had the choice. You made the mistakes. What did you expect from me? And that person will say, I expected that your mercy could even reach someone like me. I expected that your mercy could even reach someone like me. And Allah will say, let my slave go free. Let my slave go free. You have to understand, brothers and sisters, Allah created you to live in Jannah. He created you to reside in paradise. That, what, that is what you were created for. To praise Him endlessly in Jannah and to get the bounties that He created you to get. But that choice has now been put in your hands. That choice has now been made to you. It is a choice that you make. If you go to hell, you walk into hell with your eyes wide open. And if you go to Jannah, it is because you have met a Lord who is forgiving and you have sought that forgiveness and you have done something in this life to make that forgiveness worthy. So it's all in your hands. So figure out today what you want to do inshallah ta'ala with the rest of your life because the rest of your life starts right now. I don't care what you did yesterday, last week, last month, last year. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life. If you want to fix it now, fix it today. Inshallah ta'ala. You will find the Rabb who is forgiving, who is merciful, who is loving, who is forbearant, who is patient with you and who will love to give you Jannah if you only ask him for it.